Let's make the spot turn a spotlight of your routine. We will do so by dividing our body in three parts, our feet, hips, and torso. Let's get dancing. Our standing foot determines the direction where we're gonna step next. How many times you find probably yourself or your dance friends unbalanced and uncontrolled during the spot turns? All because the standing leg it doesn't help us and it's actually ruining our, our body alignment. To fix this, we need to concentrate on our standing foot and before we take a step, we need to pivot and see that our toes, our foot and our knees are pointed to the direction we will step next. So now you have take a step and during the turn, your spot turn, you should finish into the position where your both feet, your knees are facing the direction you will step into next. Now to replace your weight and before the side step, always slightly pivoting your standing foot in order to make a nice side action. Now when we turn into the left, again, we need to pivot our standing foot and take a step forward now pivot into your spot turn use your, using your standing foot and as you can see right now the alignment is straight forward take a step forward replace your weight and again before the side step pivot your standing foot in order to finish in the nice side action let's try one more time to side step pivot your standing foot first now take a step forward Pivot your standing foot facing the right alignment forward and pivot your standing foot continued with the side step. Now to the left, pivot your standing foot, take a step, pivot your standing foot so your foot alignment is in correct direction, take a step forward, pivot your standing foot and continue it with your side step. Once you feel comfortable with your standing foot rotation, you can start work on your hip area. The one important thing to remember in the spot turns that our hips are never squared in neutral position. One hip is always lower than another. So which hip has to be low and which hip should be high? Easier to remember, and this is the tip, our standing leg hip should be always higher than our free leg free leg hip it has to be always slower so if for example your standing leg is right my left hip my opposite leg hip should be down so when we have the spot turn and i'm gonna start with the side step facing to you once i pivot my standing Welcome to your American Spin session for the Jai. In this lesson, we will learn the essentials to stay balanced during a such a quick turns. As an added bonus, I will show you an arm styling that could set you apart on the dance floor. Here is the overall footwork before I get into detail. Notice that my first chassis is going towards the partner forward, rather to the side. We started with the rock step. Rock, step, sha, a, se, spin, sha, a, se. One more time. Rock, step, sha, a, se, spin, sha, a, se. Let's talk right now about the footwork. When we have a rock step back, 
we have ball flat ball flat during the chassis ball ball flat ball because we need to spin ball ball flat ball flat and once again rock step ball flat ball flat ball ball flat ball for a spin ball ball flat ball flat chassis forward you might find yourself during this step in this position so if you are my partner you can see that my foot is turned in as you can see in the profile i have a pigeon toes that's not the pretty position you have to align your front foot so your knee and your foot are facing to the partner front it's not turned in and even if you have a hip action after the rock step we have a rotation make sure that this rotation is not is has a limit and you not rotate all the way um, back and it will affect your footwork make sure that you rotate just the right amount and saving this beautiful alignment in your foot now from here it's like a press walk press replace press as you can see my foot my knee is perfectly aligned the spin now that we have done our rock step and forward chassis we need to prepare our legs for the turn so first what we need to do is to straighten our standing leg at the same time coordinate your left leg bring your knee up so this action straighten your knee to engage your core, make your waist look slimmer and spice up this routine, I will show you two hip actions we're gonna use. Number one, it's a Cuban motion, or I call it figure eight. We have to draw a perfect figure eight with our hips. Number two, rotation. Just twist your hips around your spine. And I will show you with each figure which action we're gonna use. Now, if you are still not quite confident about the steps, you can always rewind back and go through it again slowly until you feel comfortable with the steps. We're gonna start with our chassis in place and we're gonna use a figure eight Cuban motion, motion hip action. So we're starting with the right foot, uh, two, three, figure eight, four, and one. Perfect. Figure eight into the check. Two, three. Now, during the chassis to the left and right, we're gonna use a twist. Dance Today continues to create entertaining and educational content because of the contributions from viewers like you. If you would like to donate to the channel, please click on the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you for your support.